Good morning. What flavor is God? I'm Pastor Bob, and this is Looking Up, a ministry of English Oak Seventh-day Adventist Church. Every Monday and Thursday, Pastor Manny and I are here to bring you encouragement. I was thinking about that this morning, about just how would you describe the flavor of God? And the thing that makes me wonder that, of course, is the verse in Psalm 34, 8. Maybe you've heard it. It says this, O taste and see that the Lord, Yahweh, is good, the God of heaven, your creator. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Well, when I read that, I understand that it's describing the psalmist David after a terrible experience where God brought him through is describing the taste of God as good. Oh, some of you who are my friends on Facebook might have uh, noticed that I posted about uh, a way of preparing an ear of corn that I landed on. I had tasted the flavor. Um, my friend and fellow pastor, Roy, had barbecued some corn on the cob for me and, and some others and uh, coated it in oil and rolled it in, uh, in seasonings. And boy, was that good, and I've remembered that ever since. Now, I'm, I'm lazy, and I like to microwave my corn. So, so I keep it in the husk, and I put it in the microwave for four minutes, and then I rinse it under cold water as I husk it and wash it. And I love just plain corn. But I decided this week to, to try to do a hybrid of what Roy did and what I do. Because, boy, was it good. So what I did was I cooked the corn, as usual, four minutes in the microwave inside the husk. I rinsed it and everything. But I prepared a plate, and I sprinkled on that plate uh, garlic salt and Italian seasonings. And then just to kick it over the top, those of you who remember Emerald, just to give it that bam, I put cayenne pepper in there and I mixed it around and then I took the corn and I took some seasoned olive oil and I coated the corn with that seasoned olive oil and then I rolled it in those spices in those seasonings and I tried it and wow the sweetness of the corn combined with those seasonings was amazing and it's truly amazing how many people on Facebook looking at that and reading that description, it was like their mouths were watering in some of their comments. Just yum. And what I was basically saying was, oh, taste and see this simple way of preparing corn that is good. The verse goes on to say, blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Life sends us a lot of flavors. Some of them are great as we enjoy the love of family. Some of them are not so great. During this time, I'm, I'm hearing from a lot of people who are just feeling disconnected and, and lonely and longing for togetherness and wholeness and, and, and just, just the good things of life that we're missing right now. It's a hard time. David in Psalm 34 was going through a hard time. And if you read the whole thing, it's his testimony of how God, his creator, Yahweh, the God of heaven, brought him through it, not just surviving, but victorious and thriving in him. And he was saying that because he put his trust in him, because he, he, he found in him his refuge, the flavor of his life became good no matter what the circumstances. I would offer that to you today as well. Today, taste and see that the Lord is good. Invest some time in prayer. Invest some time in reading his word. And most of all, tune your heart to him in the circumstances of your life as you're making decisions, as you're facing challenges. Reach out your heart to him. Call out to him. Ask him for help. Ask him for guidance, and you will find 
that the flavor of God is good. Would you pray with me? Dear Father, thank you for being present and ready for us at all times and in every situation. Please, with my friends that are listening right now, may they find your flavor to be good. May they experience you in the middle of every situation and experience the goodness that you offer, the power, the blessing, the love. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.